All right, since we're out with the Troutmans today, I got a question to ask you too, and I've been wondering this all day. Who catches the most fish? Got it that time. Oh, and hit the flip button. Get down here and oh, hitting the flip button too. And he hits the flip button on a nice looking trout. It's the big shrive. I see. Ready to roll. Well, I guess we're not ready to roll till we get all the orders done. But another early morning in the fly shop. And that means we're fishing today. Before I start this video, you see Big Shrive has the orders printed here. I already started them. I'd like to thank everybody for all the support. We've been getting a ton of orders. And um, from all of us at Lively Legs, thank you. We really appreciate your business. Shoot us a message anytime at livelylegs at gmail.com. Comment on the videos. Let us know how you're doing out on the water. And a big, big, big thank you. In today's video, it's going to be different. Big Shrav and Benny P will not have fly rods today because we're going to be going out with a couple of our friends. We met throughout the journey, Autumn and Jeremy Troutman. Uh, Iron Mike has fished with them, I don't know how many times, Andy, would you say probably... 100, 100, 100 times we're going to say. We're just going to throw that one out there. Probably, I don't know, just countless times over the years. And this is our first time getting to meet them on the water. And we're going to surprise them. We're not going to fish. We're just going to film their adventure. They have a special relationship, a great friendship. And we want to capture that today on video. So follow along. As soon as we get the orders pounded out, we're going to get to the post office, do our sheets run. And we're headed to the water. And we're going to film today. Just getting to the water. We have Autumn and Jeremy Troutman out on the water with us today. We have the kayaks. It's going to be a flow trip. Iron Mike's down there, has his kayak ready to go. Everybody's tying up, and as soon as they're done, we're going to hit to the water. And we're off. There's Jeremy, Autumn and Mike, and Big Shrive. Big Shrive and I are going to be the film guys today. He's leading the pack. And if I get it the right angle, I can film all three of you, which is always cool to see. And I think Iron Mike's already hooked up. Big Shrive's filming him. I think Iron Mike has it in the net. Ooh, we, we had a double hook. Jeremy hooks up with one iron Mike has one in the net he says natural double trouble what legs Mike it's a dark natural with the brown legs with the brown legs and you can see Autumn and Jeremy have a little tangle ruski going up and that's what happens sometimes everybody's fishing together Jeremy had a fish on it gets off Autumn casts and it just it's part of it and Iron Mike heads right to the front of the run hooks another one while they're working on the tangle ruski. And that top of that run top is fishing great. Big Shrive's catching all that action up there. Iron Mike is dropping that fish in, and I'm going to stay with Autumn and Jeremy down here. Three fish in a row, same spot. Iron Mike is slamming them right off the bat. And this one here, when he lands it, I'm going to go up and get a look at it. If he gets it in the net. Got a heck of a pole bend. Oh, yeah. That thing is a flopping around, and it's in the net. Let's go get a look at this one. Oh, that's a plank. It's a nice one. Probably a 13, 14 inch. Probably 13. It's over a foot. Where'd you get them on, Mike? That one took the dark natural double trouble. So just out of that little wee... Heck, it's not a big run at all. There were three fish in there. One took the pertagon, two took the double trebles. That's there a beauty. Way to start what it out. Start. Yes, sir. Nice hookup, Jeremy. Iron Mike just let the third fish go. I come down here with Jeremy, and he hits a flip button on a nice looking trout and gets it in the net. That's fish four. The lightning bug, is lightning that the silver bug. one? Silver one. You told me about that one. That's the one. That's it, Jeremy. That fly has been super. That Back fly down in. 
four fish in like three minutes in this run. Yeah. And it's going to be 60 degrees today and we're in February. This is crazy. This is going to get better as the day goes. Good start. <laughs> You're doing great. Keep up the good work. Give me a canoe. I'll do even better. You're going to go buy one of these once we're done. Yeah. I'm telling you. Sitting here filming Autumn, turn around, Iron Mike has another one on at the top end of the run. There's some pretty little wild brownies today. I guess they always are. Dark natural double trouble. And you can see that. That's actually, that's the natural with the brown legs, I'm mm -hmm. sorry. Yeah, it's not the dark natural, natural brown. Away he goes. I didn't even get a chance. I tried to get down here so I can get Autumn and Mike in the same clip. Mike throws right back out. I mean, instantly have to land on that one. Goes on the Pertagon this time. And gets one on the Pertagon. So, natural double trouble with the brown legs, Pertagon. This is the combo for Iron Mike today, and it's putting him in the net. Take a look at that Pertagon. He's hooked right there. That's in the a good hook, so he's not getting away. No, he isn't. I'm gonna go down low with the camera for the release. Maybe, hang on the lines a little. I don't lose them. Uh-oh. Nope. <laughs> that line is all tangled around me. Just the way it is sometimes. All right, I'm gonna stick here with Iron Mike. It seems like threes. You got three up there, now we'll see if you go, you could have been. Now the, does I'm that count? Jeremy, you're up. There was a fish hitting. So there's your three, but unfortunately it's a tree this time. All right, Jeremy, you're yeah, coming right down. They're all through right here. They're all through it. Yeah, he worked that top and never got a hit. Oh, wait, was that a fish? Yeah, I don't know, Jeremy. That was... Uh, that's hard to tell sometimes, but... Pulled out the old fish call right before you got down here. Just so you know, that's why they're hitting. He's the looking man. Out. He's looking out for the crew. Yes, he is. <laughs> what a fella. What a fella. All right, up from afar, looking at this fish that choked out on another fish, and Jeremy has a little brownie about ready to go in the net. It's in the net. Let's go down and check it out. And he gets this one on the black iron mic. You can see that black iron mic is tucked right into that mouth. All right, autumn is up. Everybody's been doing well. We haven't been able to stay with autumn. She is pounding some water, but I'm going to stick around with her to get a fish on video here. You're definitely, if that wasn't a fish, you're getting on the bottom, which is great. Got it that time. Oh, and hit the flip button. Nice hook set. So Autumn's been sneaking away a little bit. She pounds the water. The guys have been on video catching fish and I said, you know what guys, I'm sneaking downstream with Autumn and we're gonna get a fish on video and there it is. Look at that beautiful looking little brownie. Go ahead and drop it back in the water. There you go, Autumn. What'd you get him on? Buddy. Double trouble. Which one? The brown. Yes, the it dark. is. The dark natural, natural double trouble. We got you on the board with the fish on the video. Let's keep rolling. You know, it's the belly of the beast. You got to get a cast back there. You know you may get snagged, but then again, there could be a nice fish sitting under there. Here filming Autumn, look upstream. Iron Mike starts working his way down. And gets another one in the net. So I 
caught one and then I had another bite. But that's it. We're sitting here talking. Autumn throws out. We're talking about the faster water up top here and she hooks up with uh, another fish. So now turn it into your day. Yeah, buddy. This one seems to be a little bit larger than the last one. Get a little bigger. What do you know? The double trouble. That's your fly, isn't it? Yeah, it is. That's My a favorite. Pretty, that's a pretty one. You want to do look an underwater at the marks release? Look on it. Something tried to eat it. Yeah, look at that. Something had a hold of it. Let's do an underwater release. You want All right, to? Yeah. All right. We'll see how that one turns out. Water's a little bit dusty, so I'm not so sure. All right, Autumn, let's get another one out of here. Yeah, buddy. What happened, Mike? Oh, fish? Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting here watching you get the strike, and it's just as exciting for me to watch somebody catch a fish as it is for me to be out there, because I can see it all. It's another good fighter, too. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Somebody's catching some fish. Yep. Bait it. So from the Double Trouble to the Fast Water Series Euro Nymph, the Betis, Autumn is putting them in the net. Right. Let's see that little fly there. Oh, we'll check the fish out, then we'll check out the fly. That's a gorgeous little fish. Beautiful little wild brownie. And away he goes. And let's see that fly you got him on. That is our betis. And there it is. Nice looking little nymph too, and it catches a lot of fish. Autumn! Yeah, You're in them now. Buddy. You're in them. I'm in it to win it. Let's try again. That's it. You see it stop, and that's it. <laughs> I can I can see it from back here so well. Oh, oh you're putting a go. clinic on. Uh oh, you got a good one. It is a good one. Holy crap. Autumn has on a nice fish right now. You know, she's just taking her time, keeping her rod upstream, fighting a fish. No need to panic. And, yep. Now that's a double trouble. Oh no, yeah, it's a double trouble. Autumn found herself a little honey hole right here. And it's working. It gets steep there, doesn't it? And I don't even know where it's, I can't even see the bottom. I'm just filming you in case you fall in. I know you're not catching a fish here. <laughs> I'm kidding. Big tries filming it, but that's the spot where I left Jeremy. And I told him that I was just filming him to watch him fall in because he wasn't going to catch a fish there, and he fooled me. It's nice of you to give him a chance, Autumn. All right, since we're out with the Troutmans today, I got a question to ask you too, and I've been wondering this all day. Who catches the most fish? Oh, absolutely. Autumn, 100%. <laughs> Does she really? Yep, 100%. Oh my goodness, so she's the boss too. Yep. yep. All right, I've always I wondered that. Along. I trade chores for spots on the creek. Like, I'll vacuum if you let me hit that spot. Yep. And... Good deal. I always wondered, I said, <laughs> I thought she was in more pictures with fish, yep. but then again, I thought maybe you were being a gentleman and just saying, I go ahead, Autumn. Back and I catch all the big ones. So. No, no, he doesn't, does he? How many times did he jump in front of you today? You did. <laughs> you did steal several of my spots, you and Mike. Mike I'm like, yeah, I'm going to fish this whole run, and then bam, you guys took the head of it. I know. Well, I'm telling you what, Autumn's up again as we go downstream. <laughs> Someone will be able to help. 
big fish at? What are you eating, Mike? A little ham sandwich. Where's my um? Ham sandwich, and are those those onion ring chips? Mm -hmm. They're good. I don't like onions at all. Me I like those chips. Yeah, you my, my food and your... Oh, onions. Right, Iron Mike going with the ham sandwich. <laughs> Autumn has something healthy looking here. It's deer burger and broccoli with taco sauce and tahini sauce. Ice cold because we don't have the luxury of heating it up. Mm. <gasps> Sounds good to me. See what the big tribe has. Do you have any food? What do I have? Pickled eggs. Wait a second. You ever get the memo? You're fishing with Mike. We don't even days to fish with Mike. You bring That's food. Did you bring food? I brought beef jerky, trail mix, and chocolate. And an apple. Where's the sandwich? I ate breakfast sandwich. That's what I brought right there. I got a milky one. Round two, huh? Pickled eggs at its finest. And Mike's eating his sandwich and fishing at the same time. I tried chopping a minute with the bread. I just took my last bite of my sandwich and I was coming back to the boat to grab the second half. Oh, black dots on that guy. He was eating a Pertagon sandwich. I'm going to grab my second half and catch another one. All right, Big Tribe just filmed Iron Mike. <laughs> He's eating his second sandwich now. He just filmed him landing a fish out here after he finished that first sandwich. And just found out we've had issues with when we film with these cameras, if it has an internal memory on the camera, getting those clips off and using, using them for the video. So Shrive noticed that his camera was filming internally until now so there's a chance that all the clips that he got up to this point we won't have i mean if we can't can't get them off the camera it is what it is sandwich. and our mic lands another one when i'm explaining this and if we get them off the camera they're going to be on here so if you don't see a bunch of clips from big tribe up to this point the reason is that they're stuck on the internal memory of his camera So you're a coffee drinker, Jeremy. Yeah. Like every day. Yeah. Start your day off. Yep. Like don't even talk to me till I have my coffee kind of person. Pretty much. <laughs> and I drink it straight black too. Wow. Yeah, you definitely like coffee. JT does strike again. <laughs> We're just walking downstream with their kayaks, trying to catch up with Iron Mike. There goes his kayak, and were you, you were paying attention or no? No. Just walking with your line in the water. Lightning bug. The, isn't that the lightning bug again? The lightning strikes. And there it is. What a catch. Those are always fun. Little bonus catch. Yep on the way down the stream and looking down I don't see Iron Mike so we're gonna have to catch up to him. He fished, he done fished all the water. You think he fished it all? <laughs> yeah. I caught he, fish behind Mike. No doubt about it. He's not down there watching paint dry. He's absolutely catching He's pounding water, definitely. What a reel. It's your tilt and that's paired with the syndicate. 10 foot three weight rod. It's a combo that we love and we sell at livelylegs.com. <laughs> he gives you the Cabela starter kit. Meanwhile, he's fishing a syndicate with a Euro Nymph reel. Well, Mike has my syndicate right now because he can't take him anywhere. Mm -hmm. I started Autumn off on the eight and a half, the eight six five weight. What That's what you started off with? What a the awful. Clear water. I See, it hunk of junk. 
literally. But it has its place. It it's does. a great dry fly rod. Yes, it but is. But not for nymphs. I agree. It's terrible for nymphs. It really is. So you're telling me you didn't want her to keep fishing with you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, but she kept catching more fish than we had a hard time with that when we first started. <laughs> Hooked them. Good deal. Get down here and oh, hitting a foot button too. All right, Mike, we just got up to some slow water and there's an indicator out there. Take a look at that little guy. I wasn't even sure if that was a bite at first. It hit a couple times actually. I didn't think it was. Well, I was just twitching an indicator a little bit. That was a fish there too. Look at them. Same spot, right? Yeah, pretty much. Autumn's just BSing with Iron Mike here and we're waiting for the other guys to catch up and throws an indicator on and two fish in a row. Why not? One's a little bit bigger. Sun peeks out to make a nice little clip. That one's a lot nicer. Look at that guy and has the golden belly. Put him over here in the sun for the release. Good. Good to go. All right, Iron Mike. Just this slow water right here. It's a little bit deeper and it's holding some fish. Good. Like, oh, yeah. I, I bet you it was over 20 inches. Did he? Really? Yeah. On video. Yeah. Nice. Get that rod. Cover shot. What did it take you? Black iron mic. So big trout comes down through. He and Jeremy were Good. fishing a little behind us. Stopped at a run and trout says that they got a big fish on video. Did you see that thing? Wow, 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 wow. Just kept wrapping around there. Oh, no, you didn't. That is all chilly. That's a little deeper than we thought. Just a little bit. That sucks. Well, we get a lot of crazy stuff on video. <laughs> Look at you laughing at him. He's oh, freezing. Listen, Thank goodness it's 60 it. degrees today. Mike? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think it was that deep and then it just kept going. <laughs> well, I think, oh, look at that. They untangle. <laughs> All right. <laughs> maybe, maybe that'll be the cover clip. Oh, I have so much water in me right now. <laughs> so much. Do we need to empty you out? needs to heat up a little. You're evil. Look at your face. Listen, the one time I fell in, I was like going down river and Mike's like, are you okay? It was just laughing at me. Didn't even offer help. Hey, did you get so, the big boy? <laughs> you did offer help. Huh? I did. I felt scared What's for What's that? Him. Oh. So hold on a second. You didn't catch a 20-incher. didn't catch a 20-incher. So Big Tribe is full of it. Man, he had us excited. Mike was so excited, Mike fell in. He did. He went in to get his flies and... I don't know. I didn't get one, no. He's telling stories. No. Nope. I had a good spot for a 20-incher. No takers. Okay. Look how wet Mike is up to here. Oh. Yeah. He wet it. His He's feet are... up here and I hand him the oar. He's like, I'm You know what? Swimming lessons, that's all. I can't get in, my waders are so heavy. <laughs> <laughs> I might as well just swim for the day. Yeah. Hey, this gets real hard to navigate down through here. But... 
That's a cute couple right there. Thanks, That's nice. Wish I had my camera, I'd get a picture of you two. Just stay right there, let me do that. Planted and tilted on our last trip. Whoa! Let's go! You weren't messing around with that one. Took a little while. Uh, it's a nice fish. Feels alright. Yeah, that's a, a big one, real big. You want to go down and net this? He took the top fly. It's a real big fish. Me? You want me to net it? Somebody. It's a giant brown. Oh, that is a nice fish. It's a giant. I can probably one. You want it? That's a good one. Last fish of the day in the Oh, baby! <laughs> That's a big wild drop, Mike. Let's get a group photo. Sure. Sure is. Way to end the day. What did he take, Mike? He took the, the all of Oh, man. Don't drop him. <laughs> Holy crap. Good? Yeah. Is he good? Can't get him out of the net. Ready? What do you think? That was a good fish end the day, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It was rough. <laughs> we did good though. I had a rough day, broke a rod, fell in over my gullet. Is gullet a word? Sure. It is now. <laughs> Anyhow, my legs aren't working too well.